everybody, welcome back. Today, for you comic book aficionados, we are doing another key recommendation. That is, a key book, a book that has something significant that happens in it, a first appearance or uh, an event, something like that, that isn't that expensive, that if you're looking for keys, you can probably find this and find it for a good price. And what we have here is Tales of Suspense number 79, all the way from back in 1966, written by Stan Lee, of course, because he wrote pretty much everything during that time period. And you see that as a crossover book. So there's two stories in this book, and it has Iron Man and Captain America. Well, what's significant about this particular book? And I'll take this out and open it up for you here in a moment. This is an item slash event key. It's the first appearance of the Cosmic Cube, which had a lot of speculation, of course, a few years ago because of the comic, uh, or rather the Cosmic Cube's use in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We saw it in... Captain America, the Red Skull had it, which ties in with the original storyline. In this book, AIM has the Cosmic Cube, and they collaborate with the Red Skull, who ends up using it. Now, this is a book that you can typically find, and I'm going to, like I said, I'll take it out here. You can take a look in here really quickly. You can go to a show... And you can pick this up and probably get it for under 50 bucks in a mid condition. And there's nothing wrong with having it in a mid grade condition. As a matter of fact, if you picked up a rag, if you found this somewhere between a one and a three, and you just wanted one as a reader copy, you might even find it in like the $10 box for, you know. People don't realize that a lot about Silver Age, that the median on this, because people get hung up with CGC and, oh, I've got to have 9.8s. And, you know, there's only four 9.8s of this book on the CGC census. And I think there's just over 300, something like 324 or 328 copies total graded. And the average is a nine uh, of the majority of high grades is a nine and then it starts to slip because this is Silver Age the majority of copies that you're gonna find are gonna be in a medium condition so a four or five six is pretty average and you can find it around the fifty dollar mark so you can pick up a key Silver Age for a fairly decent price and stop getting hung up on the whole 9-8 concept. I can understand if it was a modern book or a late Copper Age, but the further back you go, the likelihood of finding a 9-8 in anything gets slimmer and slimmer until it reaches a point of damn near impossibility. This is, uh, again, this is my recommendation. This is not like a hot book, if you will. It probably was during the time of Captain America's first film coming out because everybody was like, oh, the Cosmic Cube. But, you know, that's just speculation and that bounces up and down. You can't rely on it. I don't like to do spec, really. Is that That's disappointing. You can, uh, you can get really jammed up doing spec. The Cube's coming up here. I'll point it out in a moment. It looks silly actually but yeah again most silver age books they're going to be in a uh, a low to mid grade condition you shouldn't expect to pay a lot for them unless they're in really phenomenal condition and this is a book i have not worked on it could stand to be cleaned up a little bit but it's not going to get like a an amazing high grade you know, we still haven't got there yet <laughs> it's coming. But if you're a key hunter, did we find it? Yes, here we go. Right on the bottom panel there. It's like the 
tra the translucent box with all the squiggly lines in it is your cosmic cube. With the scientists looking at it in amazement. So what do you think guys? What do you think of my humble recommendation? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope you did. Like I said, you know, most of these, because, and, and don't just 100% go by CGC, because you know, CGC, of course, is only going to show you graded books and only books graded by CGC. And for every book that's graded, there's probably 100 of them that aren't, unless you're talking like obscure Golden Age stuff. You can find this at a comic show. You can find these online for uh, like eBay or something fairly cheap if you're looking for one. So don't, don't, don't get hung up on the whole grading concept. And if you have one that's in a really high grade, I get it. But you know, let me know what your thoughts are. If you think that's a good recommendation, please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you knew all that good stuff. And let me know if you'd like to see more of these in the near future. And if that's it, then what more can I say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.